Hey guys, Troy here, and very excited to share with you the latest addition to the Sell.Tools platform, and that is our Keyword Wizard. It's a very powerful flow that allows you to effectively and efficiently complete keyword research, essentially expert level keyword research in no time at all by using all of our tools in one place. So let's jump right into a prime example. I'm here in my Sell.Tools account, and the product we're gonna take a look at is this Sleep Eye Mask. So if I click Add Keywords, and then select Keyword Wizard, our first step is identifying our main keyword. So a garlic press is a garlic press, a sleep mask is a sleep mask. This is often very intuitive for uh, your main keyword. So I'm gonna put sleep mask, click next, and then Seller Tools is gonna go out and find your competitors based again on what your product is now that you've identified your main keyword, uh, who your competitors may be. Because in this step, you're gonna, you're gonna confirm who your top three competitors are. And as is very intuitive, your top competitors are usually those with the lowest BSR, which we present right here. And so again, with lowest BSR, they're highly visible right now. They're kind of winning on Amazon. So we wanna pick our top three. And that again, is usually those with the lowest BSR. Go ahead and click next. And now we wanna confirm and verify our master keyword. Based on keyword density, you have a word cloud here of other potential op options for your master keyword. But for my purposes, after reviewing some of the results, I'm gonna continue with the input that I provided of sleep mask, which again, you can specify your own and then click add master keyword. The next step is utilizing our AMZ report card. We're gonna use Amazon suggested data, true Amazon data to determine relevancy for this data set. It's gonna bring us to our keyword processor, which if you haven't seen this before, again, what we're doing is determining relevancy for a set of keywords. And viewing it at a high level, first and foremost, through our legend, we confirm those keywords that we're indexed for. So those in blue, as presented here, we're indexed for all of these keywords and those that are in uh, orange, a little bit further down because we're indexed for a lot of keywords, these are uh, keywords that we're not currently indexed for. So it's pretty intuitive in the sense that as a snapshot of your current performance, those keywords you're indexed for, Amazon's kind of saying, yeah, you're already kind of relevant for those. So we can just as easily mark all keywords that we're indexed for as relevant by clicking the blue arrow, bulk add for all indexed keywords. Now what we're left with is those keywords that we're not indexed for. And what you can do is review them at the word which is what's presented here in this column, and then the phrase level. So when I hover over those words, I get the phrases that those words are utilized. And then from there, I can determine on an individual basis whether those words and phrases are relevant or not. So again, in this example, I'm gonna say, yeah, that's, those are some relevant phrases, and that word is also relevant for uh, my product and listing. Uh, sleep help for my sleep mask, that's gonna be uh, something I want on my radar. And essentially that's what you wanna think about for keyword processor. If, if in doubt, you wanna track keywords. If it's, if it's on the fence, think about it as it being on your radar. If it's something that you think, well, do I want more Amazon data with things like TSI Plus and Pulse and uh, that real-time Amazon data that's unique to seller tools, think about how you wanna keep a pulse and for lack of a better phrase and keep those keywords on your radar. So if in doubt, I would say and encourage to move it to relevant because you can always archive those keywords, you can always pause those keywords, but if you're on the fence, opt that way. If they are truly irrelevant, again, you can do that at the word level by selecting the arrows, or you can bulk add by clicking uh, one of the bulk arrows at the top of your keyword processor. So I'm gonna go ahead and move that over again, just for the example purposes, but I can't encourage you enough, be willing to spend some time to review both word and phrase and determine uh, at the word level, the relevancy for those keywords. So if we're done with that step, go ahead and click finish. It's gonna save those keywords and give us a summary of the steps we've completed. So through AMZ report card, we had 1400 keywords found, 1200, uh, roughly just over 1200 that we approved and 250 that have been archived. And now we're running, ready to run R2A, our reverse ASIN search through Sellout tools within a dialed in scope. We're not looking at results in the top 300, top 200, the top 50 results for the competitors that we selected. It's gonna run an R2A on those and get all the keywords that they rank for. But because we've already started with Amazon suggested data, if there's any overlap, we don't have to make the same decision twice. This is where it's immensely efficient. You're not making three different decisions for three different tools. We're taking the core decisions that you've made for determining relevancy and we're applying that moving Forward. This is why uh, we love it as people that are very cognizant of spending their time on keyword research because we know how important it is, but we don't want to spend hours and hours and days and days to do it in an incomplete fashion. We want to address both of those parts of the equation. So the tool is still doing the heavy lifting for us now that it's kicked off uh, the R2A for the top competitors that we've identified and be willing to let this take a little bit of time. The, again, the beauty of this is that we're not doing any heavy lifting and having to manually find all the keywords that our product ranks for. Um, Solo Tools is doing that for us. And then it's gonna bring us back to the keyword processor. Again, making sure we don't have to make the same decision twice. It's gonna present us with new keywords from which to make decisions on. And in the same form and fashion, I'm just gonna go ahead and mark keywords that we're indexed for as relevant. And then I would again recommend that you take the time for those that we're not currently indexed for and evaluate and determine relevancy. But again, for the purposes of uh, time, I'm gonna go ahead and just mark bulk irrelevant for keywords I'm not currently indexed for. Click finish. 
It's going to save those results and it's going to give me a summary. So now we found a uh, total of 3,000, uh, just over 3,300 keywords. We approved just over 2,300 and we've archived just under 1,000. And the last step is going to be starting our last search. So we've done our AMZ report card, we've done our R2A, and last search is a great way to make sure you're not missing out on any new keywords. You're doing seed keyword discovery. So this is ideation, this is thinking laterally, this is, again, making sure you're not missing any new keywords. Big, big shortcoming when I see all these keyword density focus where you're just looking at competitors and somehow you're supposed to be the top, you know, most visible product, but you're just looking at competitors, so you're looking back. You're like, it's very confusing to think about how you're actually gonna beat your competitors when you're just obsessing over them versus actually doing superior steps getting more creative not missing out on any new keywords new opportunities and that's where last search is a perfect final step for uh for that seed keyword discovery and keyword um, ideation and it's all right now that last search is done we have a new set of results to review and approve we've got quite a few here again this is a, a total of 500 phrases or uh, words and phrases to review we have prior decisions that are confirmed here as well but we want to take the same time and energy to uh, ensure that we're deeming relevancy for these words again relevant for index keywords is going to be a quick step and then taking the time to really carefully review uh, keywords that are not currently indexed for is going to be uh, again going to be very prudent starting with numbers and then going down into um, to letters words and phrases and again for sake of review i'm going to go ahead and just mark those as um, bulk and relevant click finish and wrap up our keyword wizard flow and again we found almost 5,000 keywords we've approved just under 2,500 archived um, just over 2,200 and we've used every tool that we have to uh, to round out complete exhaustive no, no shortcoming no challenges um, with our keyword research it's truly expert level and we've done it just as easy and as simple as that and now solo tools is going to go out capture all of the other needed data for giving us exact competitor numbers no rounded numbers here uh, to confirm as much we have tsi plus in terms of uh, real-time amazon data for uh, both demand and volume pulse keyword uh, keyword performance uh, at the keyword level so you have all of this amazon data now that you've utilized all of our tools in one easy to use flow so i'm hoping that you're really going to enjoy keyword wizard it makes this process so quick easy and seamless and just as easy as that this is a new product with zero keywords now we've got a list of, of just over 3,000. i want to say oh excuse me 2500 keywords and we did that in no time at all we've determined relevancy we've made decisions only one time and it's as easy and as simple as that so hopefully you enjoy keyword wizard take full advantage of it guys and excited to have this as an addition to our platform.